it's a verdict that is rather rare in the industry. Few technology executives are charged with fraud and even fewer are convicted, uh, especially when they are trying to get investors. Uh, you know, it's, it's sort of people would assume that you're going to put the best foot forward when it comes to your company. So the conviction is also is likely to be a wake up call and a bit of a warning for other tech startups who are stretching the truth. Uh, to get investors to invest. Now, if Holmes is sentenced to prison, which is is likely in this case, she'll get some years in prison, she would be the most notable female executive to get prison time since Martha Stewart back in 2004 when she was convicted of lying to investors about the stock market. But this is a bigger picture for Silicon Valley and the way that uh, tech executives are pitching their products and promising different solutions for things. A lot of people should now... A lot of uh, tech executives are now weighing what that means, especially with this conviction.